Happy Diabetes Month! November is National Diabetes Awareness Month, so here are some signs that we caught and some that we missed of type 1 diabetes. Our first concerns with Riley began six months before diagnosis. They included excessive thirst, frequent urination, bedwetting, or in Rye's case, diaper leaking, changes in appetite and stomach aches, slow healing of easy bruises, and UTI symptoms with painful urination. After diagnosis, we were able to look back and see core signs which we had missed. These included irritability, fatigue and tiredness, vision changes, weight loss, or in Riley's case, slowed growth. Delayed diagnosis can lead to a life-threatening condition called diabetic ketoacidosis. This can be fatal, often accompanying new diagnosis. Rye was almost in DKA, but we caught it just in time. We were told that Zoe was at risk, but the testing would be done when she turned two, because kids rarely get diabetes under two. Two weeks after Rye's diagnosis, Zoe wanted to do a finger stick too. Her glucose was over 300. This was Zoe's one sign. She was diagnosed that same day at just 17 months old. She barely needed any insulin because she was in such an early stage. Within just a few weeks, she needed regular injections, showing just how short the time period can be between catching it early and being in real trouble. And even though we had just gone through diagnosis with Riley, the signs are just so innocent and easy to miss. Bedwetting, fatigue and tiredness, irritability, nightmares and bad dreams. These are all things that toddlers regularly exhibit. Zoe is proof that a simple finger prick glucose check and an A1C can catch diabetes before DKA. Diabetes can happen to anyone at any age. Family history of T1D or autoimmune disorders put you at a higher risk. Know the signs and advocate for A1C and finger pricks to be a part of your yearly exams, especially after illness. And equally as important, know the signs so you can see the signs.